Oh, it's it, it's this thing again. Want one? Mm -hmm. No thanks, I don't smoke. Mm -hmm. Alright, got a text from Alma. Boss, Alma and Gil didn't fuck. Well that's a bummer. She's sending congratulations her way though. Oh my god, we're still on this. Tell her I said thanks, I guess. So who's the lucky girl? Oh my god, are we seriously doing this? <sighs> so it was a guy? I never thought you'd tell him that way. It wasn't a guy. So it was a girl. Then you did fuck. I don't feel comfortable talking about that, you know? You don't make things easy for me, though. How so? I mean, you're pretty hard to get close to, you know? I... <sighs> yeah, you're so hard to get close to, so I'm just gonna be like, Hey, hello, I, um... I, I'm just gonna ask you a lot of questions about having sex, and if that's not okay, I don't care, and I'm just gonna keep asking. You know, you're, you're the hard to get close to type, so, you know, when, when somebody's hard to get close to, I just ask them all sorts of questions about their sex life. That, that's how that works. You never talk about yourself. You're talkative as long as it doesn't involve you directly. Teasing you is literally the only way I know how to get through to you. Make me sound like some weird loner. Almost knocked my whoppers on the floor, if you know what I mean. You are a weird loner. At least if you tell me if you enjoy the, sp the night you spent with whoever it was. I did. Good for you! Why are you humming Sunshine Stone, though? It's called Shine Spark. And, you know... Shut up. Well, after that idol girl came in yesterday again, I looked over at discography and I can't stop humming or listening to them. Right. Oh god, you didn't fuck the idol girl, did you? No. Well, that'd be a problem, though. I don't know. It'd just feel weird. Well, that's that for the break. Let's go back. You just took a two-minute break! And you wasted all of it talking about fuckboys fucking. Boy. Oh, and Gil? Keep in mind what I said about opening up more. I mean it. That way we won't tease you so often. Our bar is getting closed. Who cares? Listening to you say that has to be the weirdest thing I've heard of all this year. Shut up. I wonder if Alma finds Gil attractive. Okay. Weird. Jill, you're slipping into worse girl territory. I mean, you've got a long way to go before you're Dorothy level. But this is not your finest day. And that's that. Back. Oh god damn it! Of course. Oh. I need a drink. What are you two doing back there? Oh, shut up. Fucking. <laughs> oh. Just chatting then. Mm hmm hmm. Holy crap, did you two really fuck? John has the face of a man who fucked some death recently. Yeah, he's, he's dead now. Rest in peace. Seagull, you're making it too obvious. How? Oh my god, this, this is the worst day. This day is just, this is a meme. This is not even a day. It's a bad meme too. It's like Dat Boy. This entire day is just Dat Boy. Oh wait, wait, I still have this picture. I still have this. Let's move this up a bit. Okay, what do you have today? Aw, oh, fuck. Aw, oh, I can't keep it on top. Oh, well. I'll have a gut punch. Coming right. Eh? What? Nothing. Dorothy wants a gut punch? Is the world ending? Okay. Gut punch. One, two, three, four, five. One... Aged, mixed. Here. Corner <laughs> face! Stop looking at me like that! Sorry. You okay? It's weird for you to order something like that. Yeah, I'm just trying out stuff. Did you know Lilim tongues are designed to identify food using the chemical components? Our tongues are designed with the human ones in mind. For example, the first flavors we detect are sour and bitter, just like you guys. I checked my personal specs, and apparently my sensitivity is set to slightly above average numbers. That makes me hate the flavors, because I feel them harder. Why all that exposition? She's an expositionist, obviously. I mean, I'd lie if I said I wasn't interested, but why? Well, after last time, I got curious and started checking how many of my systems work in detail. For example, the tips of my tongue are so sensitive to vibrations, you can make a seismograph with them. Sound like you're buggy as shit. <laughs> and checking that, I found that it's all based on how humans work. And that got me thinking about what you said. I mean, for my systems to work, humans have to understand how they work. After all these discoveries, 
They're not any more or less artificial. Why should I be? I don't know, looking up all that suddenly made me feel more real. It was the opposite of what I felt last time. I feel like I'm here right now. Glad to hear that. Alright then, let's try something sweet now. Alright. Piano woman. Uh, two, five, two, three, three, aged. There you go. Piano woman. Ah, nice. To be honest, it's a bit surreal for me. What? You're talking to you and you're answering like any human would. You're even expressing happiness. Yeah, that's totally the first time she's ever done that. That's a very unusual thing for Dorothy. I remember when I was a kid, I usually tried to strike a, 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 a conversation with the AIs. After a bit, they just start looping through their built-in answers, repeating the same things over and over. Oh, this made me crash back to reality. When I think about that, having such advanced AIs like you hear right now, it's amazing. She, she's still not over this. I don't know. It makes my inner child happy to see something she always dreamt of. It helps I feel particularly cynical. Aw, you flattered me! Besides, I've always thought about humans like nature's lilum. The method we got might have been different, but we too evolved from a more simple form ages ago. How does that make us nature's lilum? Everything does that! Dumbass! If lilum managed to create biological life years from now, it all comes full circle. So what I should take from this is... You love me? No. No. You love me? <laughs> okay, this... I know. I finally know where to use this for my... Uh, um, whatchamacallit? Thumbnail. You love me? Don't overdo it. Anything else? Let's go with the sugar rush. Okay. She didn't even comment on the gut punch. We finally got to serve her complete garbage and she's like, meh, I don't care. Mixed. There you go. Even in doubt, my love for these is real. How romantic. So I take it the softless problem got solved? Yep. All the reality crises started, started the other day. My mu- Guardian? Call her mom, nobody's judging you. M mom decided to meet with the mother of her girlfriend's girlfriend. Her daughter's girlfriend. Oh, okay. It's a complex sentence. It was a very emotional meeting. They both said they felt like it, they closed a long chapter. I was moved. That's when it set in. Why was I moved? I never met any of them, so why do these feelings come from? Why do I feel these things? Do I really feel them? What tells me someone else is in prison and wanting to make me feel like that? What tells me I'm in my belly? What is real? Boom! <sighs> she's dead. Throw her out a window. Aw. She's back. Don't worry about it, by the way. I'm fine. My god, it's unnatural to see you down like that. Man, that Gilgo is a blast! Did you feel like talking a bit more with Dee Dee? Dee Dee's too much of a prick, and Gilgo is tired. Besides, I want to talk with the bartender, so fuck. Well, I tried, Jill. I'll be in my office. Cute little girl, Lilim! Eights! What are the eights? What are the eights? Cam girl! Oh, fuck. Ugh. Is this possibly going to be worse than the last episode? Ugh. <laughs> Why can't I just keep this up? Ugh. What's your name, girl? I'm Dorothy Hayes at your service! Do you come here often? Are you hitting on me? Oh my god, no one's hitting on you, shut up! <sighs> hey Dorothy, I'm in the middle of a live stream. do you want to participate? Sure, sounds fun! Okay, let's check a recommendation for you. What should I drink next? Try the sugar rush! Bartender, a sugar rush over here! I'm sorry, their voices are building together. Bartender! Sorry, what? Sugar Rush, please. Right. Sugar Rush. Again. <sighs> so disappointing this doesn't actually do anything. When you load them up with booze. Good choice, Dorothy. Yay! W's. So what are you doing in my turf, um, streaming chan? Yes? No, I mean, that's what she calls herself. Man, that's a taggy name. Says Dorothy Hayes. 
Yeah, but it's my tacky name. See? You just got shut down. You need to stay in your place. Actually, that's not really my name. Oh, shit. We got some major revelations. Or revelations here. Revelations. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid Rising revelations. Revengeance is a real word, by the way. That's not made up. It's, it's a terrible word, but it, it, it is a real thing. What's your name, then? Behind Streaming Chan's awesome mask lies the humble Nicole Chen. Humble. Why not call yourself Streaming Chen? It's funny that you now that you mention it. You see, when I started, I called myself Nico Nico Chen. I changed website, so the change fo name felt a bit out of place. Thus, it became Streaming Chen. Everyone nicknamed me Streaming Chan, though, so I just went with it. Oh, yeah, I get it. At one point, I was going to call myself Dolores Hayes. Then I realized the name was as subtle as a brick to the face. You're as subtle as a brick to the face, which I would like to give to you. Anyway, I'm here because the last time I came, I ended up with greater viewer numbers than usual. And so, I want to treat my loyal audience again. Oh man, this voice has been doing weird stuff to my throat. Oh, I see. Well, you came to the right place, especially if you're looking for some comfy fun. Honey, here might seem like harsh, but you just need to crack your shell. Shut up. <laughs> nice! See, you just need to say the right thing at the right time, she becomes a sweetheart. Quiet, you. Don't play hard to get, you know it's you. Hey, stream girl. That's me! I'll regret asking this, but shouldn't you have a sponsor? It's weird that someone's been, it's been this long without some advertisement. I have, but you see, the contract with them expired, so Marvin, the business guy or whatever, had to make a new one. He's gonna spend the draft to his lawyer and had a couple of additions, but, um... Let's say he got too excited with my VR model and the contract became- Oh my god. The contract became unreadable. That's way too much information. Shut up! Shut up. Shut up. Oh, he used the contract. Yep, he cut into a pair of panties and rubs it- Oh my god. This isn't- This is- I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna take a nap now. Uh, I'm not gonna read that. I mean, you expect certain principles to be upheld, even in the adult VR industry. I reported him, he got fired. But now they're looking for a new business person thing. Wouldn't you get paper cuts? I, I would not recommend that particular course of action, to be quite honest. It. Uh, I, that's just gotta be. No. No. Th there. Okay, never mind. She's. Okay. Honestly, I think the paper cuts all of his dick are punishment enough. <laughs> but I mean, why the contract? I don't mind if he jacked off to an image of me, but the contract? That's why money you're soiling right there. I would have gone back on the deal, but were it not for the owner paying me a visit and apologizing profusely, and if it was a mistake. This was a mistake. Everything here. This. I'm the trash lolly. I eat garbage. You, you, you get two. W's. Yes, Parker, it's garbage time! Ah, dick paper cuts. I've gone through enough crazed teacher fantasies to know how they can be a problem. I don't think you need to have experience to understand- What? That said, Gil's been grimacing for a full minute now. Poor Gil. Don't mind me. Huh. But you know, I like you, Dorothy. Why don't you celebrate with me? Why don't we celebrate with beers? With a capital B. My treat. Alright. Two big beers, honey. Er, I rather. Was that? Did streaming Chen call me honey? Stop that. Worst episode ever. Worst episode ever. That's right, right? Yes. Blah, blah, blah. There you go. Here. Cheers! Cheers! Alright, I'm not feeling my tongue or feet. Time to get lewd! No! Oh, fuck you. Did I hear lewd? Do you have any stories? Hmm, <laughs> this will be a treat for non premium users. I once met a guy that insisted on doing a jacuzzi. He didn't mind being in premium time, so I started setting up the cameras. And man, was it a challenge? I wasn't just gonna stream over the water, I want some underwater action too. What did you do with the bubbles and all? What? No, 
that was the least of the problem. We just turned the jets off. But not only did I cover have to... How to... What? Not only did I have to make a makeshift underwater cover, I also had to keep in mind the heat. Heat isn't good with cameras. Did you try chilling the camera a bit and putting it in a bag with some filling? We made something more convoluted. We took a small cooler, opened a hole for the lens, and sealed it with plastic. Not... No matter how crazy you are, this is way too much effort. For... I made sure things looked good through the cam and started recording. Then threw in some cooling packs and sealed the fuck out of the cooler. Didn't need any weight. This is the worst thing I've ever had to read. Yep, luckily the guy was into bodybuilding, so he used some old dumbbells. He was ripped as fuck, but that's another story. It was all a success, but it's also the last time I was sex in a jacuzzi. Blood rushing, hot water, I feel like I was dying midway through it. That guy decided to resume the action out of the water midway or he surely would have died. Guess the guy didn't burn himself. What do you mean? Last time I had sex with a jacuzzi, my god he got so hot the guy almost burned his dick. I consider investing in a cooling system, but it's situationally expensive, so I'll pass. Sorry, their, their voices really are melding together. They're, they're a little different, but when they're both here, it's hard to separate. Besides, the cooling system requires too much maintenance. Wait, I think I should leave, but can you join me in the escapades for the rest of the night? Can I plug my services at the end of the night? Sure! Then count me in, I got the perfect stories. Get the fuck out of my bar. Well, let's set the story. You see, there was this mega Santa. Wait, seriously? They left. They're made in hell! Yes, agreed. Whew. At least they look like they're having fun. Method of filming underwater sound kind of as fuck though, but I guess it's hard to keep a cool head when you're horny. We're done, boss! Man, don't you feel this great? Are we in the same place? Here, Jill. What's this? A bonus! Did I get the taste of the kind of clients you had you had to deal with and keep it up? Well, tomorrow's a big day, so get ready. It goes for both of you. Well oh, Your bonus is an extra three hundred dollars. Lame. Super lame. Hmm. We have no notifications or reminders. I think New Year's... I think this is the last day. So, uh, we'll go ahead and do the last day tomorrow. Or next, you know, time. Be your own discount. What's the cheapest crap I can get? What? Oh, right, I forgot that was so expensive. Um, can I get... <laughs> no, I can't. Alright. That's just crap for New Game Plus to make it slightly easier. It won't really be an issue anyway. Yeah, I guess... Since we're under 20 minutes, let's go ahead and read... Oh! The augmented eye is down for maintenance. Sorry for the inconvenience. There's nothing. Huh. Wait, do we already read this? Oh wait. Thank you. Huh, this one doesn't have a notification. Admin Chris, we wanted to stop the epic memeing for a bit just to say thank you! Big big thanks to every one of you who bought this game. Thank you for reaching this point into the game. Thanks for all your tweeting, all your questions through Tumblr, and all the emails, etc, etc. Even though we couldn't answer every single thing, we stress so much we appreciate all the messages we got. Thank you very much. The road was rocky. Things weren't as smooth as we had hoped at the end around the end of development. We've had some people actively trying to sabotage our work. What? Jesus. But like Big Match John, we beat the odds and kicked out it too. Uh... Thanks for reading it through all my nonsense. Hope it wasn't too heavy-handed. Let's fill the world with badass cuties. I agree with this one, though. We, we mostly only have Sella and Stai on that front. Alright then. I guess Jamie for certain values of cuties, anyway. So, let's save this in uh, this break slot. I guess next time is the finale? I'll go back and try to get the other endings, I guess. But uh, seems like this is our last day dawn of the final day.